Welcome to the legal series of SQUIM in Port Angeles Real Estate. I'm Chuck Murundi. Today we look at another common trap for the unwary buyer, timber trespass. If a neighbor cuts down trees on your property, usually just across your boundary line, it is called timber trespass. This is a serious offense in Washington, and the offender can be held liable for the value of the timber cut down, and if the cutting was knowing and intentional, the offender can also be required to pay all attorney's fees. Timber trespass happens much too often on the Olympic Peninsula. Most of the time it is totally by accident. Boundary lines between properties are often not marked, or maybe the line was never surveyed. Over the decades, people buy and sell property, people come and go, and assumptions are made about where the boundary line is, and those assumptions are often quite wrong. It is not hard to be off by 2 feet, or even 15 feet, if you're talking about a 5-acre or 20-acre parcel. By the way, sometimes such a timber trespass is not an accident. Sometimes the neighbor from hell, as we affectionately refer to such a person in the legal profession, recklessly or intentionally cuts down your trees or shrubs. Disputes of this kind often turn into a very ugly battle and expensive litigation. Many clients have told me even after they won that they felt like they lost. Years of stress and expenses can make you feel that way. Life is too short to get caught in these kinds of battles. One of the reasons I write and publish these traps for the unwary is to help you avoid unnecessary nightmares. Do your due diligence to be sure you don't get caught in this trap for the unwary. I'm Chuck Murundi, and you can find us on the Internet at squimportangelus.com. That's S-E-Q-U-I-M, portangelus.com.